Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. And the other day, Visual Studio Code teased us with an update. Basically, they did this across all of their development uh, socials. It's basically the logo of Visual Studio Code and Copilot, and then nothing. So they, they had an announcement coming. They did not mention exactly what it was. And then when this video goes out, it will have been yesterday afternoon, they finally made the announcement and is announcing GitHub Copilot free. So a new tier for GitHub Copilot available for everyone today in code. No trial, no subscription, no credit card required. Learn more in their blog. Now, it's interesting that they make it sound like this requires code. And technically, it doesn't. We'll get to that in just a second. But basically, what this is is a new free tier of GitHub Copilot that you can um, have some limitations on what you can get away with. We'll get to those limitations in just a second, but that is a said announcement. So let's jump in to the blog post right now. And they've got announcing a free GitHub Copilot for Visual Studio Code. Excited to announce an all new free plan for GitHub Copilot available for everyone today in Visual Studio Code. Again, it makes it sound like it's only in Visual Studio Code and that isn't actually the case. Although they have been spending the last like seven or eight updates of Visual Studio Code working mostly on Copilot extensions, which is annoying. Uh, so I, I get why they're trying to tie these two together for sure, but you need to have a GitHub account, no trial, no subscription, no credit card required. The process of enabling it is there. We'll get back to that in just a second. So with it, you get 2000 code completions per month. Now I have no idea if that's a big number or a little number. Now they're saying it's 80 a day, and that is a lot. Now, I don't know if that is actually a lot. So if you're using Copilot right now and you have any idea how many completions you're doing, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious to hear if 2,000 is enough for most people. On top of that, you get 50 chat requests per month. So that is if you want to query and ask questions to it. Uh, on top of that, you're getting access to GPT-40 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet models uh, with a couple more coming in the future. Uh, so if you hit those limits, uh, it is ideally because Copilot is doing its job well and then basically they want to upsell you. So if you find you need more Copilot, the paid pro uh, plan is unlimited and provides access to additional models like O1 and Gemini coming in the new year. Uh, with the announcement, GitHub Copilot becomes a core part of the Visual Studio Code experience. I don't love that. I actually really wish it was more of a separate product, but they've been tying them together more and more and more. But at least they're giving everybody a free-ish version of it, which is, I guess, a step up. Um, so the team has been hard at work, as always, improving the uh, that experience with brand new AI features and capabilities. Let's take a look at some of the newer uh, additions to GitHub Copilot that dropped in just the past few months. Again, I've been doing videos about Visual Studio updates for the last probably half a year to a year now, and a lot of it is Copilot. So we've got things like working across multiple files files with Copilot edit, multiple models you can choose between, as you can see right there, uh, custom instruction ability, full project awareness, so you can use these domain main participant things. So at workspace is a way of searching across your entire workspace model uh, and other ones are available. Just type slash help into the chat prompt. Now I'm curious if, tashing, if typing slash help into the chat prompt is one of your 50. I hope not. Uh, name things and other hard problems. Uh, so if you want to rename something, you can do it using Copilot. Uh, you can speak to it. So there is a, a VS Code speech extension that works with it. Uh, it can integrate with the terminal, make it easier to do terminal commands, uh, and so on. So they've done a number of improvements on Visual Studio Code integration with Copilot over the last little while. Um, and then on top of that, they said, is it available for other tools? And I said, yes, but read this additional blog. Well, the reality is this additional blog doesn't actually say anything. Although interestingly, it does say Visual Studio Visual Studio a try here. So it seemingly works with Visual Studio at this point in time. But if you dig down a little bit more into their GitHub documents about GitHub Copilot free, again, you will see um, the features that are included. And in here, Copilot chat in Visual Studio code, Visual Studio, JetBrains IDEs, and GitHub.com. So it should work with JetBrain uh, suite of IDEs uh, right now. So that's nice. Uh, so C Lion or Rider, etc. Uh, and then you've got this other IDEs section, but the other IDEs is 
pretty empty. But to use it, uh, you have to first activate Copilot free in your GitHub account. Uh, details are available there. You can use it on github.com uh, to ask questions, etc. And they've got Visual Studio code here. But that other document, again, this one we looked at right here, seems to imply Visual Studio integration works as well, which is a nice thing. But there is this limitation. It doesn't seem to be a big deal, but I thought I would bring it to your attention as well. Who is eligible for GitHub Copilot for free? is a new free pricing tier with limited functionality for individual developers. So if you're on a team, probably not. Uh, users assigned a Copilot business or Copilot enterprise seat are not eligible for access. Users with access to Copilot Pro through a paid subscription, trial, or through an existing verified open source student, faculty, or MVP account may elect to use free instead. So that is the deal there. Uh, we do, again, have it's only available. So. Although code completion functionality is available across all of these extensions, chat functionality is currently available only in Visual Studio Code, JetBrains, and Visual Studio. So those seem to be the tools that have full support right now. So this isn't just for Visual Studio Code, even though they really made it look like it was. Uh, and then if you want to learn how to actually go about setting it up, well, first install the uh, Copilot extension, and then basically you just click here, turn it on, uh, and then it's a kind of a simple prompt. You log into Copilot, enable it, and then you're good to go and you can start asking questions and so on. And yeah, that is today's announcement. So going back to this original tweet, uh, this basically is just telling us that Visual Studio Code, which isn't just Visual Studio Code, and Copilot now has this free tier available. Again, details there. Um, oops. And if you're curious, curious what it actually costs to buy Copilot, here are some of the details. And they do something I really hate here. So again, here you can see the new free tier is available and you can get started right there. Again, they do make it look like it's a Visual Studio Code thing, uh, but there is also the pro tier, but I don't know how much the pro tier is because this is first 30 days only and I can't stand when they do this stuff. Just stop obscuring, put it right here what it's actually going to cost. Uh, and then you've got business and enterprise tiers as well. So again, we have this brand new free tier of it available. Uh, do you use it now? And if you use it, do you use probably less than 2000 requests a month so you could drop down to the free tier? Uh, do let me know. And if you've not used it before, is this new free tier tempting you to give a Copilot a shot? They're obviously fighting off other tools like Cursor and Codium, et cetera, which I think is now Codo. Uh, but it, this is definitely a move forward. But let me know what you think of it. Um, comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.